In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Battlefield 2042 on your Windows computer. If you're having issues with the game crashing, freezing, not launching, or just giving you some sort of error code, then by following the methods in this video, we will hopefully be able to fix the issue. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, and you do like this video, then be sure to click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one on how to resolve issues with other games and also increase the FPS and performance in games. Plus we have almost hit 50,000 subscribers and it would be absolutely amazing if we could hit that before Christmas. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure Windows is up to date. And to do this all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, click on settings, click on to update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button. The methods that I'll show you in this video will be done in Windows 10 but it's very similar to do it in Windows 11. If there are any updates available go ahead and install the updates and then once they've installed restart your computer and the next thing you need to do is ensure you have the latest graphics driver installed. If you don't have the latest driver installed for your graphics card then you are going to run into problems in game. Also when installing the latest Nvidia graphics driver click on to custom and then press next and select the option that says perform a clean installation. This will restore all Nvidia settings to the default value and remove any profiles you have created. And this is a great way to ensure that one of the settings isn't causing an issue within the profile setting that you've created or the Nvidia settings. If you do have an AMD graphics card, then when updating your driver, if you do have an option to do a clean installation, then select that option as well. After you have updated to the latest graphics driver, go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the issues you were having. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is put your security software into either game mode or passive mode, or just completely disable your security software for a short period of time to ensure that it's not your security program that is causing the issues with the game crashing. Security programs can cause massive problems when it comes to playing games. And to do this, all you need to do is go down to the system tray and find the security program. It will be very similar for other security programs as well. You then need to right click onto it and you then need to tick silent mode. And this will then put the antivirus program into a sort of game mode, which means it shouldn't interrupt the game. But if you're still having problems, then go up to the shield control and just disable your antivirus program for 10 minutes, launch the game, and then see if you still have the same problem. If you do, then you know it's not your security software. If you don't, then you know you need to add the game to the exception list in the security software. But just remember, while your security software is disabled, you will not be protected from security threats. So after you've done all that, and if it turns out not to be your security software, then the next thing we want to do is just ensure you don't have any programs or apps open while you're playing Battlefield 2042. If you do, then close down these apps and programs because they could be conflicting with the game, causing it to crash. So basically, if you have a web browser open, a music player open, if you even have like a recording program open like OBS Studio and things like that, ensure it's all closed. And that's also the same with monitoring software. Like if you're using MSI Afterburner, Rivia Tuner and stuff like that, close it all down and then launch the game and see if that resolved the issues you were having. If it didn't, then the next thing you want to do is also ensure you have not got any overlays currently running. For example, Discord, you can use a Discord overlay, ensure that is disabled, and in fact, close down Discord completely and launch the game and see if that helps. Also, GeForce Experience has an overlay, and to disable this, all you need to do is open up GeForce Experience, and you then need to click on the settings cog, and you now need to just toggle in-game overlay to off. Once you've done all that, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, and you now need to click onto settings, and you now need to click onto gaming, 
and you then want to click onto game mode. You now need to toggle game mode to off and also while we're in the gaming section as we were just talking about overlays ensure you have disabled the Xbox game bar overlay as well. Once you've turned both those options off go ahead and launch the game and see if it helped. If it didn't then the next thing you need to do is run Battlefield 2042 as an administrator. And to do this, you now need to open up File Explorer and go to the location of where you install Battlefield 2042 and you then need to find the BF2042.exe and right click on it. You then need to click onto Properties and you now need to select Compatibility and you now need to tick the Run This Program as an Administrator and click Apply and OK. You can now go ahead and launch the game and hopefully that helped resolve the issues you're having with the game crashing, freezing or just not launching at all. If that didn't fix the problem, then the next thing you want to do is move the game to an SSD drive if you have the option. If you do not have the option, then that's fine, you can move on to the next step. But installing the game to an SSD drive can resolve a lot of issues and it will also help speed up the loading times of the game so you load into game a lot quicker. If you are still unable to play Battlefield 2042 without it crashing, then the next thing you want to ensure is no one else is currently signed into your computer. And to check this, all you need to do is right click on the taskbar and then click on Task Manager. You now need to go ahead and select Users and as you can see I currently have another user profile that is disconnected which means that it's not in use but it's still using up system resources and as you can see it's currently using some of the CPU, memory and disk and I need these resources for Battlefield 2042. So just make sure they don't have any work open that they need to save and once you're happy you can go ahead and click on sign out and then sign out user and this will sign that user out and you will now have those extra resources for the game on your profile. And the final method for this video you need to open up Origin and you now need to click on my game library and find Battlefield 2042 in your game list. You now need to right click on Battlefield 2042 and then click on repair and this will now scan for any corrupted or missing files. And if it does detect any files that have issues, it will then attempt to repair them. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And like I said at the start of the video, if you do want to see more videos on how to fix problems and errors with games, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button below.